Yes, we did go on holiday. No, we didn't go together. Fact. Here's proof. This week I've escaped Sorted HQ. I've escaped the Sorted Lads. I've even got out of the UK and come here to Switzerland to amazing views like that. It's unbelievable. And um, we're staying in a chalet, that chalet there, which is damn cool. Um, basically, a few other friends. We're hill walking, mountain biking, just generally exploring the area, and of course, exploring Swiss food, traditional stuff. Um, which I can tell you already, I absolutely love. I don't know if you can hear it above the sound of the babbling brook. Can you hear the chiming bells? That's the bells around the cow's necks up in the valley here. It's those cows that make the most amazing milk and that's why Swiss chocolate and Swiss cheese is to die for. Up close and personal with the bad boys that make amazing milk. Correction, they're not boys, that would be wrong to milk them. They're definitely cows. Best part of being away is cooking outdoors, friends, good food, beer and amazing views. Look at that. When I'm not sure we could come to Switzerland without indulging in some cheese. In fact, we have pretty much every single meal since we've been here. Found some obvious favourites and um, Gruyere, kind of a nutty, hard cheese. Love the stuff. But also, um, some more regional ones, a very, very funky goat's cheese is delicious. Um, and actually, all we've needed is good fresh bread and cheese, and we've been happy to dig in time and time again. We've got potato roshti, we've got spazzi. And we've got fondue. Look at that. We've come up to some amazing snowy peaks for a bit of an explore. Um, it is pretty windy and cold up here, but of course, still sporting the fetchy red sorts. Fetchy? What's fetchy? Hey! <laughs> Can't go anywhere without them. Um, I don't believe it. Genuinely, if I tried to go on holiday without them, these guys would moan. <laughs> I've been told that I have a holiday pose now. <laughs> Ladies and mate, what's your holiday pose? Apparently, it's this. I went to Berlin, uh, which is in Germany. So this is why my holiday was so great. Um, I sampled uh, lots of German delicacies. There you go. There's a beer that's the size of my head. Wow. Hey, this beer's interesting. This is a Weiss beer, so it's a wheat beer. And basically, that is Weiss beer with Coke. I would describe it as suboptimal. Obviously, I took in the, the standard sites. There's the Reichstag and there's the Brandenburg Gate. They look quite small. Originally, um, they just made the Reichstag and Brandenburg Gate and all of that at the same time out of chocolate. And then they're saying, oh, oh they my goodness. they made out of chocolate? Yeah, they're made of, those are made out of chocolate. And they're like, wow, these originals are so great that let's build big stone versions. Then we went to Checkpoint Charlie. <laughs> and what's so funny about that? This is the best kebab in the whole of uh, Berlin. Bold statement. It's from Mustafa's. It was just amazing. This is a chocolate peanut butter ice cream <laughs> cookie thing inevitably come into a fridge cam near you soon. I'm excited to hear about this because this you would not stop talking about this. When this defeated back. me. This is a pork knuckle. I've never had so much pork before ever. I've never taken so much pork. I've never been full of so much pork. There was so much meat in this. It's like crackling around the outside with loads of meat and the meat's great. Look, look at this meat. Look oh, at that fibrous. It was slow like slow cooked. Yeah, that's as far as I got and that's pretty much a meal still. Enough holiday talk and back into the real world. Yes, on Tinternet this week. We have finished off two things. Yes, one chocolate. One of them, our mug series, and one of them, the chocolate. We are delighted to welcome back a friend of ours who used to be in a lot of the earlier videos, the Sprig of Mint. <laughs> the Neville's Sprig of Mint made a, uh, a fruitful return. It made a good um, return. With an amazing kind of fondant, um, some of you guys call it like a lava cake or a molten lava cake, in a mug. Yum. And the last of the chocolate recipes as well, the zocotto. Yes, the zocotto. The, the bomb. The, yeah, it's chocolate almost like bomb. a chocolate bomb. It's got mousse inside, mint choc chip, more mint. It was like a chocolate igloo. But you know what that means? I do know what that means. We finished our mug series. We are able to give the people We've what finished the chocolate they series. want. Next week, brand new stuff, it is... Ben's Made Personal. Starts next In week. In his canal boat. Well, no, my straight house. Straight from his caravan. <laughs> Throwback on a Thursday. Which was scones, so yes. very British. Um, moving way away from Switzerland I and Berlin scones. and America. A good old English scone. Apple cream tea, Blackberry. best. Proper cream tea. We've done a lot of talking, but should we do comment of the week? Oh, comment of the week. Can we go back to the normal jingle, please? This is the normal jingle. Perfect. Here we go. Ben likes the normal jingle. Well, actually, I don't know why. Y'all should do a whole video totally unedited. I'm sure it would be hilarious. I can guarantee you, it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> in fact, we'd all end up in prison and then you wouldn't get any more sorted videos. So, um, the only thing that makes these funny are jump cuts. Yeah, it's best that we're left to edit them. But thanks for the suggestion. However, if you do want to see it completely uncut, we have done some live recipe labs before. Um, we'll link to those down below. And 
please come and see us at VidCon this year. We are doing a live Q&A and that will be live, unedited, with all of the bloopers left in. Oh dear. Till next week, goodbye. Where are your friends? <laughs> They're not here. Toblerone is an evil chocolate. It's the only chocolate that you cut yourself by eating. <laughs> on the, on the mountain-shaped horn. Is that a reoccurring theme to your holidays, going and looking at horns? There's loads of brilliant things about going on holiday to Switzerland. I mean, the flag's a big plus. <laughs> Why? We're so much better when those two morons aren't here. It's so true.